Hi, teammates. Hope everybody's doing well. Remember to worship the Creator God of all things and give power to the Holy Ghost and um, believe in the Holy Ghost and believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for our sins and was raised on the third day. Um, I found this guy today, Banda Singh Bahadur, and he did a lot of traveling and um, was an Indian and fought against the Muslims. And I'm not just doing this to waste time or to pass time. There's a reason for all this, you know. Um, I believe in the passage of the idle shepherd and I believe in the Bible as a whole. You know, I believe in everything in the Bible and I believe that this channel is doing, um, things for people and, um, you know, just trust Jesus and, uh, look at everything with a mercy mindset and, you know, I may, I may be getting no views. I may be getting, you know, a lot of views. I, I don't know. YouTube manipulates those things. So you can't really trust the views. So, um, you know, just keep faith. I, I'm just keeping faith and I'm just going by what I'm seeing. And it, it, it kind of changes every day. You know, every day is a new day. God takes away the darkness and creates light every day. So that's why this stuff changes. But um, you can see here, uh, let me find it. Um, Banda Singh Bahadur um, developed and renamed Mukhlisgar Village, a.k.a. Logar, Fortress of Steel. He issued his own mint, which read, Struck in the City of Peace illustrating the beauty of civic life and the ornament of the blessed throne. So, and he, he renamed the city Fortress of Steel. So he's, you know, he's got a lot of symbolism here, kind of like that Shaq movie, Steel, that came out. And a uh, revolutionary Banda Singh Bahadur is known to have halted the Zamindari system in the time he was active and gave the farmers proprietorship of their own land. So he kind of defeated some of the corruption that was going on in these uh, Indian lands. And he said he uh, he said that the, the, the masses should take control of their own land and not let these uh, corrupt forces, um, the Zamindars, uh, he sh they shouldn't let them rule over them. And he defeated the Sayyids and the Sheikhs in the Battle of Sadhara. And we can see here, um, Bahadur Shah, the emperor, was trying to find Bada Singh or Banda Singh to kill him. And um, something happened there um, that's kind of interesting. Um, let, me, let me find it here. Banda Singh left the fort at night and went to a secret place in the hills in the Chamba Forest. The failure of the army to kill or catch Banda Singh shocked Emperor, Emperor Bahadur Shah. And on 10 December 1710, he ordered that wherever a Sikh was found, that he should be murdered. The emperor became mentally disturbed and died on 18 February 1712. So, you know, he kind of, he went to the mountains and... And then this, this emperor became mentally disturbed. And this is under persecution of the Mo Mughals. And, um, you know, so very interesting. And then things kind of went south for Banda whenever, um, Jammu, um, whenever the, the Fadger, the Fajdar of Jammu went into power. And, um, Abdus Samad Khan was in power and he, for eight months under conditions of great hardship, fought against, um, Abdus Samad Khan, but 
they eventually found him and then they tortured him to death, um, severed his limbs, his skin was removed, and his, his eyes were gouged out. So I'm kind of looking at um, the symbolism of uh, Jim Hopper of Predator who is skinned alive and um, Arnold, Arnold says um, they didn't disappear. They were skinned alive. And uh, he says that to Dylan and um, the Native American soldier says that Billy, he says that um, he doesn't believe the hopper went into an ambush, that that he would have walked into an ambush. So that's kind of when they're discovering the predator and all the things that it that it's doing. So that's kind of s- some symbolism there. And he died on 9 June 1716. So then I went to, um, I went to 9 June 1716. And went to 3-10-2006. And I'll get to that here in a minute. And it, it was 105,819 days. So, and look at this. Look at this here. Uh, news and talks and top overall local radio market. Enterprise Rec by Ryan Olson. Um, if you go to that... Let me get to that here. Well, anyway, if you go if you go to that article that I had up, um, it talks about uh, Ben Bow and talks about. Um, a lot of the symbolism that we're talking about. And um, I'm looking at uh, the Salesforce Tower, Indianapolis. And it went up and uh, it, w- it went up and it was known as the American Fletcher Tower. And it was it's the 44th tallest building in the United States and the 230th tallest in the world. And that's the sales force tower in Indianapolis. And I'm looking at the Fletch film. Fletch came out because it was known as the Fletcher Tower. It came out May 31st, 1985. May 31st, 1985. So that's kind of like um, this symbolism here. Because you have you have the the eighty five and the nineteen and then the the ten in the beginning, but um, that's shown in in this here. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me go to that. Okay, well, you saw it, so um, just look up that article and um, see what you think about that. Thank you, teammates.